Hi, my name is Sarah Torello and I'm CEO of Stable Pro. Hi, my name is Avery Kravitz and I'm the CDO of Stable Pro. Hi, my name is Michael Milo and I'm CTO of Stable Pro. Hi, my name is Alex Kubashik and I'm CFO of Stable Pro. This past summer, Stable Pro team members Sarah and Avery interned at the Rehabilitation and Prosthetic Services Department of the New Orleans Department of Veteran Affairs with the intention to identify an unsolved medical need within the VA healthcare system for this year's team design project. With first-hand experience in the fabrication of lower limb prosthetics and the training involved in using the prosthetics, we were struck by the lack of universal, easy-to-use data-gathering technology accessible to VA prosthetists and physical therapists. With this issue in mind, we set out to create a technology that would aid medical professionals who consistently interact with lower limb amputee patients during their lengthy rehabilitation process. We determined a need statement as follows. Prosthetists and physical therapists specifically at the Department of Veteran Affairs, need a system to acquire, record, and manage prosthetic usage data in order to aid in patient interfacing and rehabilitation. It's currently estimated that there are 2 million amputees living in the United States. Of these 2 million, approximately 65% are dealing with lower limb amputation. To regain some semblance of independence and increase quality of life for these patients, they must be fitted for and learn to walk in a prosthetic device. One specific population that deals with a high rate of lower limb amputation is our veterans. Thus, we chose working with the Department of Veteran Affairs for our senior project. Our functional requirements are as follows. Our system should Determine locations and magnitudes of stresses and pressures inside the socket. Determine accurate step count. Provide an option for emergency assistance. Not negatively impact patient gait or comfort in any way. Analyze time and duration on each foot and heel toe strike during gait pattern. Transmit recorded data to a computer interface. And tr display recorded data in a user friendly interface. Initially, we set out to find ways to involve innovative data gathering techniques and materials into the fabrication of lower limb prosthetics. We identified a primary need to locate pressure points inside of the socket that can cause discomfort and bruising of the residual limb. After researching different materials and techniques that could help us achieve this goal, we settled upon using Bellostat, a pressure sensitive conductive material to create a pressure sensitive surface. Our first iteration was just a trial run in which we used Velostat, copper tape, and an Arduino circuit to prove that force magnitude could be recorded. Our second iteration required a copper grid system and an advanced Arduino code to create a two-dimensional map of the location and magnitude of pressures exerted upon the Velostat. The next step was converting this 2D surface into the 3D prosthetic. This required the shaping of all materials into the form of the socket, as well as the alteration of the Arduino code to create a 3D map. The video on the left of the screen shows Sarah using the prosthetic leg simulator with our product integrated into the socket. On the right side of your screen is the three-dimensional data display showing what areas of the prosthetic are under pressure and the magnitude of the force in each of those locations. In order to ensure our estimates are accurate, we applied the location and magnitudes of forces data gathered from our group member walking with the socket and compared that to a SOLIDWORKS simulation with varying forces during walking. The simulation of the L-shaped socket corresponds to the location seen on the force map display of our product. The maximum von Mises stress is 2.462 million newtons per meter squared during the stance and toe strike phase of walking, located at the patella. The maximum von Mises stress is 1.375 million newtons per meter squared during the swing phase of walking, located at the lower quad and upper shin. These values and magnitudes are similar to the derived data by our sensor systems, proving that our product is capable of accurately evaluating forces and stresses in any shape socket. Since there are distinct changes to the pressure at different gait intervals, this shows that our sensor system works while a patient walks. This test ensures that the pressure shown in the display corresponds correctly to the pressure the group member feels. The creation and maintenance of prosthetic limbs has been practiced for centuries, and while many new techniques and devices have been introduced into the trade over the last few decades, much of the measurements used in the fabrication, as well as usage data critical for re rehabilitation, is still gathered by hand using archaic methods such as placing chalk in the socket to determine locations of shear force and pressure. Our aim is to incorporate data gathering technology directly into VA prosthetics 
in a way that has not been done before. There are prior art that have four sensors adhesive placed on the inside of the socket, such as Insight, Adaptech, TechLink, and the TechScan F socket system. So to differentiate our product, we are utilizing a low-cost and stretchable resistive sensor material. Velostat offers a long lifespan with minimal tearing. Our design mesh within the socket is shaped differently compared to the prior art, and our product utilizes minimal thickness at areas of known pressure to account for user comfort. Our 3D map display provides calculations of forces and shear changes during specific intervals of walking. The sensors are applied to determine step count as well as time on each leg in order to evaluate additional comprehensive gait cycle analyses. Lastly, the product is meant to be worn at home with data constantly sent to the VA in order to record a plethora of useful patient data throughout each day. In the future, we plan to implement added functionality into our design. First on the list would be the addition of a cloud-based storage system. This would allow patient data to be transmitted safely and anonymously through the cloud and into the VA system. The next addition would be a soft, breathable, compact liner to house the four sensors and wiring. Without it, our product will be uncomfortable and therefore unwearable. Another functionality improvement would involve the addition of an emergency response button and an accelerometer. The emergency button could be pressed and held to dial 911 in the event of a fall, while the accelerometer could be used to determine stride length. These pieces provide more nuanced data collection and security measures within the existing system. Finally, we would need to tackle the challenge of manufacturing on a large scale. This would be done in collaboration with industry experts after adequately testing our final design. To better visualize what a final design would look like, we have taken the time to draw multiple iterations of a fully fleshed out system. The drawings progress from simple to lifelike, ending with a modern carbon fiber setup. We included a sleek posterior housing unit that would contain a microchip for data processing, a Bluetooth transmission device, an accelerometer, the emergency fall button, and batteries to power it all. Also shown in the final drawing is a minimalistic wiring bundle that feeds into the socket-bound force sensors. Furthermore, this additional simulation of a lower limb prosthetic proves that the areas of heightened pressure are at the popliteal, patellar tendon, medial proximal and posterior tibia, and medial proximal and lateral distal fibula regions within the below-knee U-shaped socket during the stance, swing, and toe strike phase of walking, with a maximum von Nisi stress of 2.247 million newtons per meter squared during the toe strike phase of walking. By analyzing and comparing the physical results with the pressure acquisition code, we will implement further revisions to depict the interactions within both the simulator and below-knee sockets. We are very proud of creating a functional prosthetic add-on while using only 19% of our total budget. Thankfully, we had access to many useful software packages through Tulane, which drastically cut down our total cost. Additionally, we were fortunate to have a wonderful industry mentor and teaching teams who offered their professional advice for free. These resources meant that we easily came in under our budget. A huge thank you to our industry mentors, Brian Lehman at the VA, Dr. Elizabeth Chirello, and Dr. Julie Cardacci. Thank you! Thank you, Dr. J. Quincy Brown at the Tulane Department of Biomedical Engineering. Thank you to Dr. Raymond, Dr. Dan Sasak, Afshin, Scott, and the rest of our teaching team for their wonderful advice throughout the entirety of this project. Special thanks goes out to David A. Rice Design Endowed Fund, the Tulane Biomedical Innovation for Global Impact, and our NIH grant. We hope you enjoyed our video.